Hey, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the weirdest food from every state. I was inspired after watching or editing a video, and I really just wanted to check out how weird these foods really were, and if I would actually eat it. Some of these sound very interesting, and we are going to go in order, so if you want to skip around to find out what your state is, which it might not even be what's on this map, so you can go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Alright, so I guess we're going to go ahead and start with Alabama. Biscuits with chocolate gravy. That actually does not sound too bad. I would probably try that, because that doesn't sound that bad at all. This is what it looks like right here just literally just biscuits with chocolate gravy is it taste like gravy or does it taste like chocolate i think the chocolate would actually well i mean i've done it with gravy already so that'd be fine too drew's home state i bet you that fool hasn't even tried it all right next we're with alaska at uh, akutak akutak i don't know if i pronounced that properly but probably not but it sounds like it might be some type of native food so that kind of sounds cool and this is what it looks like just by looking at it does not look appetizing at all it actually looks like it's ground beef with some weird stuff in it it's a yupik word for mix them together Okay. Oh, it's Eskimo ice cream. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. When I don't think of it as raw meat and I think of it as ice cream, definitely would try that. Wait a minute. Utek isn't ice cream in the sense you might think. This is made of anything into Inuit hunters could find. Moose meat, caribou meat, fish, fat from animals, sea oil. Then they freeze it and combine it together as a dessert. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Um, I don't know if the food is cooked or not. From this photo, it does not look like it is cooked. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it now. All right, so the next one is Arizona. We got scorpion lollipop. I have actually tried these already. They look cool. Which side? Let me show you right now. Scorpion lollipops from Arizona. They look cool. I've never actually licked it enough to get to the center of the lollipop. I actually don't know what the scorpion even tastes like. But just from experience, the lollipop itself does not taste good. It is just a gimmick because it looks cool. At least that's my opinion. All right. So next one on our list is Arkansas with its possum pie. So right off the bat, before I even look at the photo, I'm pretty damn sure. I hope it doesn't have possum in it because uh, that does not sound appetizing. Find those in California dead all the time on the side of the street. Sometimes they might just be passed out. You don't actually know. Okay, this is it right here. Possum pie. So just from the photo, it actually looks amazing. I don't see any kind of possum in here whatsoever unless it's hidden in these crumbs. Oh, great. This says there's no possum in the pie. Whew. Okay, so it just looks like it's chocolate. Maybe some cream vanilla. Oh, but some say hidden under that whipped cream. So uh, I don't know about all that. All right, next one on the list is the Chorito from California. So I've already tried this. Literally just sushi and a burrito. It's really stupid. It's nothing special. I don't really think it's that weird. But you know what? Might be because I'm from California. Literally, it's just a burrito with rice as your tortilla. I'm not even joking. This is nothing serious. Nothing crazy. And I'm pretty disappointed that this is the weirdest thing in California. We are pretty damn lame. All right. So next on the list is Colorado with this Rocky Mountain oysters. Maybe I'm just dumb, but I've always thought oysters are in the ocean. And I'm pretty sure Colorado is nowhere near this any kind of ocean. So let's see what it actually is. Okay. I, uh, sorry. These, uh, looks like something else. Don't come from the sea. They are exactly what they look like. So I'm going to have to blur this. Just, uh, I'll give you a hint on uh, bison, bulls, and um, the areas that I did not think we are still eating. But all right. Rocky Mountain Oysters from Colorado. Never gonna try those. Our next on the list is going to be Connecticut with its clam pizza. Okay, that sounds completely fine. If it's just clams on a pizza, I will try that. All right, this is what it looks like. It literally is exactly what it says. Clam pizza. As long as they don't have like the shells for the clams, I think it looks good to me. It doesn't look like it has marinara sauce in it, so it might be using some type of white sauce. It's a Napoleon style pizza served with garlic and oil base, no sauce. Okay, so there you go. No marinara sauce. I would still try it. That looks good. Not really weird, but it is what it is. All right, next one is Delaware with its it's cream chipped beef. So some right there. Creamed and beef aren't too bad, but chipped just kind of throws me off a little. Okay, from the initial photo, it looks completely fine. It looks just like bread with probably cream and beef. I mean, that's like a sandwich. So it's also named SOS. It's literally just meat mixed with flour, butter, and milk on toast. Yeah, that is very weird. Doesn't sound good, but it's not so gross like Colorado. All right, next on the list is our famous Florida with their gator tails. Uh, when I first read this, I actually think this is a joke. It's Florida, so this should not be surprising at all. And it's exactly what it is gator tail in florida and louisiana oh okay so it's not just the tail it's the entire body and apparently it's a delicacy i'm not gonna lie i'm actually down i've actually want to do this i'm going to go to florida and i am going to try this before i leave florida so anyone who florida down there let me know if this tastes good because it looked good to me i've always wanted to eat these fools because they be eating everybody else give it to the florida people to eat the craziest reptile all right so next on the list is georgia with its boiled peanuts which why did they even put this on this list it's not even weird um but literally they look fine to me they literally just look peanuts maybe a little soggy looking from probably being boiled oh, apparently uh, georgia grows half of the peanuts in the united states that's kind of cool yeah boiled peanuts is fine gladly eat this. this isn't weird at all i'm getting disappointed with this list right now all right next on our list is hawaii 
Ube. So I've actually tried this. It's purple and it looks like jello or some type of just yogurt or maybe a mix of both those things. This is it right here, ube. It's probably made from a plant, which is why it's so purple. Yeah, it actually says on here that it's normally enjoyed on a traditional luau, which is actually where I tried it when I went on a luau. I was like, what the hell is this purple stuff? And then yeah, bright purple yam is the staple. Apparently they mix it up usually with pudding and ice cream and used for jams. If you haven't tried this, definitely try it. Might look weird because it's purple, tastes good. All right guys, now we're going to Idaho ice cream potato. And look at that, isn't that shocking? It's exactly what it's called, an ice cream with some potato. Idaho is number one grower of potatoes which we all should well i knew that maybe because they're really close to us i don't know. oh hold on this isn't even actually a potato it just looks like a potato it's a vanilla ice cream shaped like a potato then covered in cocoa powder to give it the brown skin oh then yeah this is super good this looks great this isn't weird at all Maybe it's because it looks like a potato. I think it looks good, though. I'm about to go try that right now. Idaho ain't that far, right? Like, 12-hour drive? All right, next on the list is gravy bread from Illinois. I thought this was supposed to be weird food, but I'm assuming this is just bread with gravy. That's what it looks like. This is also a really horrible photo, so can't really tell. Okay, so most people eat roast beef sandwiches with a dip. This is just bread with the dip without the meat from the roast beef. That's all this is. Yeah. I don't think this is weird, whatever. And next, right next to it, Indiana, with its sauerkraut balls. Okay, this sounds German. This word, sauerkraut, but I might be smoking chronic. I don't know. And this is what it looks like, sauerkraut balls. They look good to me, actually. What, uh, looks like some, some potatoes, maybe some meat in there. So it's not just kraut. So apparently they put brat, kraut, spices, cream cheese, roll in a ball, fry it. That sounds amazing. Indiana been holding back what they got over there, bro. I had lunch yet? I want some of these balls in my mouth. <laughs> Now, next on the list is Iowa with their walking taco. So, what it looks like, apparently, is just a Frito bags with probably chili, cheese, or meat, like a taco. Yes, yeah, exactly what it is. You get a Frito bag, you put taco meat, chili, cheese, sour cream, pretty much anything you put on a taco. I've actually had this in California, so don't know if it came from Iowa. It's good, though. Next, we got Kansas with their bear rock. Bear rock. Oh, this look good. Bear rock isn't only found in Kansas. It apparently originated in Eastern Europe, particularly in German areas. Yeah, it looks like the stuffed kraut balls we just saw earlier from Indiana, except bigger. These look good too, though. All right, next is Kentucky with their soup beans. Oh, so weird. Beans and soup. This is not weird at all. Like, this literally is what I had for breakfast. Being a beaner, my ancestors are from Mexico is all we eat. Soup beans, a staple and the Appalachian Mountains. I do like that they put bacon in this though. That looks real good. This is not bad at all. This is not even weird. All right, next we got Louisiana with Nutria. Sounds like Nutria Bullet or Nutrition. I don't imagine anything from Louisiana being super nutritious. So yeah, we'll see about that one. What the hell? Oh, those are apples. I was like, what the hell is this animal that got balls inside of them? I mean, like in the stomach area. Oh God, that's gross. Okay, they're, they're, they're swamp rats. Oh no, I shouldn't be grossed out this this i just think this image is very not appetizing at all because i know they're rats swamp rats high in protein low in fat i'm gonna stick to chicken i think we're good i mean if i went to louisiana like yo we got some nutria i'll be like well i just saw that i guess i'll try it <laughs> give me a little piece though don't give me a whole big ass body with apples inside of it because that's just gonna anyways next one maine we're in the m's now with tom is that say tamale tamale but just with the american accent tamale well i know what a tamale is so if that's what that is those are good okay i was definitely not a tamale or tamale it's tom alley Maybe. I don't know. Literally looks like lobster. Oh, it's a lobster. Why are they calling it a Tom Alley? It's just gonna confuse Mexicans with tamale. All right, next on the list is uh, Maryland with their stuffed ham. Don't know why this is on the weird list, but whatever. Stuffed ham. Oh, I guess they stuff the ham with stuff. I mean, that's not really weird. That's just genius. Innovative, I guess. Not really weird. Oh, it's a holiday tradition, huh? Stuffed ham. Recipe dates back to the founders. Okay, 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 okay. So it's been around a minute. It does look good. I would try it. Unless they're stuffing it with swamp rats, then maybe not. Okay, no. It looks like they put cabbage, onions, kale, spices. Okay. Next on the list is this Massachusetts with their chow mein sandwich. So they just put chow mein in a sandwich. I mean, I guess you can consider that weird, but is it weird? That's the weirdest thing you guys have in Massachusetts. Even after you had the witch trials in there, you didn't have like some famous food from the witch trials or something. This is it. This is very disappointing, guys. Very disappointing. You guys gotta get some weirder food, all right? All right, try and do Michigan with their Detroit style Coney dog. So it's just gonna be hot dog with the Detroit style. That's literally all it's gonna be. This isn't weird, guys. I think we're getting to the end of this list. This is weird. It's not even weird no more. It literally looks like a chili cheese dog without the cheese. And it has mayonnaise and onions. I mean, it looks great. I will eat this all the time. All beef hot dog topped with chili, yellow mustard, diced onions. Yep. So weird. All right, time for Minnesota with their pickle dog. I'm not a huge fan of pickles, but I'll eat them. And I'm, ho I'm hoping when this says dog, it means like Coney dog or, you know, hot dog like Detroit. I wouldn't want to think of uh, the other kind of dog. Okay, it is. Oh, it's literally a pickle, like bun. 
with a hot dog. Okay. That actually seems healthier than eating with bread hot dogs. So apparently it's a state fair food. Slicing a pickle like a bun and spreading cream cheese mixture on the pickle. Ooh, for subtraction. Oh, I like that. All right. Yeah, that's easy. Try that for sure. It is a little weird, but like some of these foods are just innovating. They're not even weird. All right. Time for the other M's. Mississippi. Cool. Cool. Ick. Cool. Ick. I want to say Kool-Aid. Sounds like it's Kool-Aid with something that you lick. Now that I said it out loud, that sounds really weird. Okay. It looks like that's what it is. I think Kool-Aid with an icicle. Apparently it's a jar of pickles. You empty half of the pickle juice and then you put double Kool-Aid drinks mix. Ah, this is a pickle and it's brine with half pickle juice, half Kool-Aid mix. Innovative again. I mean, weird, maybe. I would try that. We've seen worse on this list. That's for damn sure. All right, next is Missouri with their Provel cheese. I mean, cheese is good. So I don't know how you can make cheese weird. Provel cheese, here it is. It doesn't look bad at all. It literally just looks like string cheese strung up. Processed cheese mix made with cheddar, provolone, and Swiss cheese. Oh, combining cheeses into one cheese? That sounds good. They uh, spread it on bagels and only Missouri people prefer it on pizza. Bro, who would not want this on their pizza? Cheddar, provolone, and Swiss? That sounds so good. This isn't weird at all. Mixing in things that are amazing to make one beautiful thing. Good job, Missouri. You guys know how to do it down there. All right, next is Montana with their pasties. Look at the photo before I show it to you guys in case it's a different type of Tasty. Okay, so it just looks like stuffed. It's like an empanada. So it's just meat and potatoes and a crusty pie. Looks like a hot pocket with some meat in it. Before hot pockets were invented, probably. All right, next is the ends with Nebraska and their hot beef sundae. I hope it's not what it sounds like. And they put meat with a sundae, like ice cream. And it's exactly what I just said it is, I think. I really hope that that's mashed potatoes and not ice cream. Because if that is, that is disgusting. Okay, no, it's not actual ice cream topped with beef. Oh, thank God. Roast beef, potato meal, easy carry all, tradition. Okay, cool. Okay, now it looks great. They just made it look like a sundae. But it's just potatoes, beef, cheese. That looked good. I don't know if this is considered weird. It's more like just really cool looking. All right, well now we got Nevada with their cotton candy burrito. I can say I've never actually had that and I go to Nevada to visit family in Vegas all the time. And it looks like what it sounds like, cotton candy burrito. So pretty much diabetes in a burrito. Probably only wanna try it once because after that you probably will die if you try it again. Wow, it's literally ice cream topped with sprinkles, gummy bears, and any other sweet topping you can put in your ice cream and wrap it all up in a cotton candy. Wow, next time I'm in Vegas, definitely gonna try that all right next on the list is the grape nuts ice cream from new hampshire and that is probably just grape nuts and ice cream okay grape nuts a cereal it's not a nut nor is it a grape then why is it called grape nuts the world may never know all right next on our list is new jersey style sloppy joe so over here in california when i think of a sloppy joe i just think of ground beef with some type of barbecue sauce made from Madwich in a can. New Jersey style has no ground beef. Looks like it uses normal bread and like horseradish. So apparently in New Jersey, they just triple decker sandwich used corned beef between layers, roasted turkey or pastrami, and it has Thousand Islands and Russian dressing. Oh, that's cold slaw. So this stuff is cold slaw. It's a sandwich, but I guess they call them sloppy joes in New Jersey. I was in New Jersey and actually never got to try this. So I wish I would have actually. All right, now we got New Mexico with their green chili sundae. Okay, so can you you only get this from like chilies like the restaurant is that why this is here it looks like a weird drink if they put actual hot sauce in this it's kind of weird it's vanilla frozen custard and you top it with hot what with hot chilies so it's frozen custard with actual chili in it i'm good all right we're going to new york with their garbage plate well now that's a name that sounds appetizing garbage plate i think it's really cool i'm pretty sure it's just everything into one plate it's ground beef with or without cheese sausage and dumped with a mixture of home fries french fries macaroni salad and baked beans and then hot sauces drivel on top that sounds like a hot mess but that looks great i've been in new york again and i did not try the garbage plate i'm going to have to make this list and try every single thing here except maybe colorado i will never forget what colorado has there and i will never try that. all right now we're in north carolina with liver mush i eat liver all the time being from a mexican culture it actually tastes great to me so probably not for the normal person though is it liver this is what it looks like it looks like sausages you find it at mcdonald's oh it does the liver here we go pig liver and parts of the pig heads and it's fried like sausages okay yeah this is just this is literally sausages like i was thinking they put in mcdonald's i like liver so i would definitely eat this all right time to go to north carolina with loot fisk I don't know why I thought they said loot fist. I'm gonna loot this fist real quick. Off the bat, it looks like it's either fish mm, or jello. Also from Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden, Finland, eat this white fish. Fisk. 
while soft in cod and it's preserved in lay loot okay so it's just raw fish then raw fish that's sushi here so okay all right next we got ohio with their goetta goetta looks literally like just a sandwich it's apparently a german american breakfast it's just ground beef and pork in a sandwich not that weird all right now we got oklahoma with lamb fries okay these look weird off the bat they look not are they are lamb fries what they have in colorado they're just called lamb fries okay yes these are exactly what they have in colorado except they're lamb disgusting never gonna eat that all right next we got is oregon with their gooseneck barnacles well i can think of a spongebob with barnacles and goosenecks so it's gonna be geese is it birds? What the hell is that? This looks like an alien hand. Claw or quid. The barnacles you find on coastal rocks and piers, boats, are crustaceans, just like lobsters and shrimp. The gooseneck variety is long or stocked, and while they look really, really weird, like dinosaur feet, so these are literally barnacles. So this is seafood, I'm assuming then. For a second, I thought these were like chocolate ice creams or something. They look so weird that I would try one, but they do not look good. All right, Pennsylvania. We know what's, fa oh wait, this is weird food. This isn't famous food. I was about to be like, Philly. All right, so this is what Scrapple is. It looks like bread. Cut bread. Thanks to the Pennsylvania Dutch, also called panhas. Pan rabbit. Is this rabbit? Okay, so it used to be rabbit. Actually, scrapes of pork. Combine it with cornmeal, flour, and spices. Okay, that sounds good to me, actually. I was wondering why I look weird. All right, now we're doing this little baby Rhode Island with their chop suey sandwich. Is this from that famous song? Okay, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look horrible horrible it's just a sandwich with roasted chicken or pork oh those are just bean sprouts okay that's not bad so it's like a sloppy joe with bean sprouts oh right, now we got south carolina with their chitlings i'm not gonna lie i've heard that term before i've always thought it meant like chicken fried is it fried skin okay they're the intestines of pigs or cows so i know the majority of people would probably be like that's disgusting but i grew up in mexican culture and we eat intestines all the time so ain't no thing we eat it in soup all the time except we call it menudo well i guess we got a word for it in english chitlings chitterlings maybe i'm saying that wrong all right now we're here with the uh, south dakota and their chislik who came up with these names i just wonder how they come up with these names okay chislik looks great it literally is like kebabs oh the only difference is these are made from sheep and mutton yeah this looks really good south dakota this isn't weird all right now we're on down to tennessee with their slug burger is there slugs in this is this like made out of slugs like snails it's beef or pork patty mixed with soybeans so it's Sounds like a country fried steak in a patty. they look good to me. I would eat it. Now down to Texas and their famous rattlesnake. I don't even have to look at the photo. And I know it's just going to be snake cooked. And I would easily eat it. I would like to try snake. It just sounds cool. Yep, literally eating rattlesnakes. Apparently, but don't eat the head because it is filled with deadly venom that can kill you. Good to know. Eat everything else but the head. All right, now we're in Utah with the jello salad. And it looks like jello. It's green, so... Maybe has salad in it too. Popular in the 60s and 70s. It's jello with fruit, vegetables, marshmallows, other filling. I guess if you want to say this is weird, it's only because it, it's not normal. Then again, we're not in the 60s and 70s anymore, so maybe it was more no normal then. Don't really think it's that weird though. All right, now we're in Vermont. Sugar on snow. They literally just grab sugar and throw it on snow. Oh, oh no, it's maple syrup. I was wondering why it was yellow. Usually yellow and snow are not a good thing. So you heat up the syrup and pour it on the snow? Dude, that sounds cool. I feel like this is like a Canada thing. Well, Vermont's close, so. All right, now we're here in Virginia with their peanut soup. It's from West Africa? What? Didn't know that one. Basically peanut butter soup. Okay, yeah. Ground peanuts with a stew, vegetable broth, ginger, garlic, yep. All right, now we're Washington with their geodudes, or geoduck. Is this a mixture of geodude and psyduck, or what? Eating Pokemon over here? What the hell is okay? I hope I don't get demonetized for this. This is like those weird animals that are inside shells, aren't they? They're giant clams, and they're eating like sushi. I'm sorry, I just... I'm not eating that. All right, now we're in West Virginia with their fried squirrel. I mean, I guess it's not that gross. It's just really weird. Fried squirrel. I just imagine the whole body of the squirrel just thrown in there with the little freaking tail and everything. At least you can't tell that's what it is here. It just looks like fried chicken. I mean, if they don't just grab a squirrel and just fry it and they actually like take the meat out, I'm down. Maybe. Wisconsin with their butter burger. Imagine if it's like a burger made of butter. A burger and the side of the middle is just like a butter stick. Oh god, that'd be so bad for you. I'm not gonna say it doesn't taste good though. Probably is amazing. Alright, so it looks like it's just a burger. Cheeseburger, calorie high creation, take the meat patty and cook it in butter. Okay, wow. A butter burger. Very original. This is not weird at all. This is literally every burger in America. Alright, now we're here in Chuck's Wagon Breakfast in Wyoming. This is what it looks like. Chuck's 
wagon, chucks. It's chuck wagon. I keep saying chucks. During westward expansion, you just needed to toss ingredients into a pan and cook it over open flame. Okay. But whatever the cowboys had back then, they threw it in a pan. That's what they ate. That is what chucks wagon breakfast is. Hash browns, eggs, sausage, gravy, shredded cheese. That sounds great. All right. And that was all 50 states. These are the weirdest food from every state. According to this map, I don't think all the food was weird. Obviously, the weirdest ones for me were the Rocky Mountain oysters because they are not oysters at all. And the lamb fries because those and the Rocky Mountain oysters have a lot in common. You know what? The tips do touch. So that makes sense that their weirdest food are the same thing, but from different animals. Oh, and the geo dudes. Those are pretty weird. The geo ducks. Those are just, they just look really weird. I think almost every single thing other than these three, I would easily try. If I miss something, let me know down below in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Is there anything in here that you've tried that you think is good? Or if you've tried those oysters or fries, were they good to you? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.